everyone. So today we are going to hopefully finish up our unit on South America. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a butterfly. So the reason we're doing this is one of the places in South America that are so, so important is the rainforest. Now, I've mentioned the rainforest before, but I don't know that we've actually talked a whole lot about what it is. So I want you to think about the name and what you think it means. So rainforest. So it's a forest that has a lot of rain. And rainforest can actually be found in South America, which we're studying, in Africa, which is where we studied first, or in Asia. So it's not just in South America, but I believe that the rainforest in South America is the biggest one. And it also is facing lots of issues because of deforestation. Okay, so that means that the trees are being logged and those habitats are being destroyed. So the rainforest is so, so important for our climate. It has so many different types of animals and plants, insects, fish, birds, all kinds of different things. And the butterflies that we're going to study today are called the blue morpho butterflies. And you can see them right here. And they're actually pretty big. They, with their wingspans, with their wings open like this, can be five to eight inches. So when it's flying, it can look like a bird. It's that big. And it's just one of the 150 plus species of butterflies in the rainforest. That means there's more than 150 different types of butterflies there. This owl butterfly right above it is another one. Isn't that cool? It looks like it has eyes. So I just thought this was just a website that I had found that I thought was interesting and I liked the pictures, the rainforest, and then two of the butterflies. And this is the butterfly that we're going to make today. Okay. Now the reason that there are so many butterflies there and insects is because of all the rain that means there's lots of different plants there including flowers and of course that's what butterflies need so what you need today is you need a piece of paper and i'm going to use a marker to start with and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold my paper in half and then you also need some scissors so i'm folding it in half like a um, hamburger bun so it's thicker it's not like a hot dog bun it's folded to be long and skinny okay now I took extra care to try and get it to match up on each side and then I'm going to run my finger down press it down good okay now here is the important part so my paper opens this way so this is going to be where the middle of the butterfly is all right on this edge the corner of our paper okay so we're going to look at our butterfly one more time we see how it curves and it's got black around the outside blue or black for its body and then blue on its wings so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our black to draw the outside. Now, this is important. I want you to watch me before you try. We're just going to draw half of it. Okay, so we're just going to draw half of it. So I need you to follow along with me. We're going to start in the middle. And we're going to do a curved line going down. Okay, so kind of like a little bitty mouth there. So I just need a curved line. And again, it's on the inside of the paper. Okay, so that corner where we folded, where we ran our finger, that's where you want that. You don't want it on this side. Okay, the part that opens can't be on that side. It has to be on this part that we folded. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw one wing. So I'm going to have a curved line that comes up. And then we're going to curve it back down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it on this side. All right. So there is half of the body of my butterfly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it folded. 
and I'm going to carefully cut along the outside. All right, I'm remembering that I only cut my paper and I'm very careful because I don't want to cut myself, my clothes, my brother or sister. I'm just cutting along the black, okay? And I'm not cutting this line right here. I'm going around the edges, so just the edges. Just the edges. Just the edges of my outline. All right, again, I'm not cutting this middle part. All right, now here comes the moment if we see if it follow directions or not. So when you open it, if it falls apart, you didn't cut it on the right side. But if when you open it, it looks like that, you are a good listener, okay? So when you open your butterfly, it should stay together because you drew on this part that we folded, okay? So I'm gonna flip my paper over, and because I'm using a permanent marker, I'm gonna put another piece of paper under it so I don't mess up my desk. And now what I get to do, is I get to do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna match up my lines, because butterflies are pretty cool. They're what we call symmetrical. So that means they're the same on one side as they are on the other. So if it's on one side, it's gonna be on the other, I'm going to color in his body because we remember that the body was black. And then I'm going to go around and outline our butterfly's wings. All the way around. Alright, almost have it outlined. Alright, I'm going to go around and check and make sure I got all the way around on the other side. Alright, now what we get to do is we get to add our blue to the wings of our butterfly. So, I don't think I have a um, big marker for that. So I'm going to use some blue pens that I have. So if we go back and look at the colors, we see that it's got some dark blue and it's got some light blue. It even has some white, maybe even some red. So that's what we're going to be working on now. You can even use your black to add the antennas on if you want to. All right, but I'm just going to use my dark blue. I'm just going to do some little streaks. I'm not going to make it perfect. It might even be close to when we scribbled for our unicorn, and that's okay. Sometimes scribbling is fun. All right, so I'm just scribbling some blue on here. And remember, if I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other so that it's symmetrical. So what's on this side has to be on this side. We have to make it match up because butterflies are symmetrical. And we'll work on symmetrical more throughout the year. So symmetrical means it's the same on one side as it is on the other. That's one of our artworks. All right, I've got some different color blues that I'm going to add. And again, I'm just scribbling. I'm just having fun with it. If you have paints and your parents or the adult with you are fine with you using paint, you can do that. I'm totally fine with that. I want you to be able to have fun with art class and enjoy what you're making. All right, so you do what you're going to like best. As long as you know that whatever mess you make, 
you have to clean up because you're a big kid. And then when whoever's with you ask what you're doing, you're going to tell them that you are making a symmetrical butterfly. Or as I like to call them, a flutterby. I think that makes more sense. Because they're not like butter, but they do flutter. So flutterby, that's what my Mimi used to call them. There's a flutterby in our streaks. And if you're using markers and you don't have paint, remember that you can add water to this and it'll blend it like it's watercolor. Okay. So that's what you could do for the rest of our time together. Go ahead and fill it in. Spend some time making it look beautiful, beautiful. Be able to add water if you want those colors to blend. And to send me a picture when you are done. Alright, hope you enjoyed this and had fun. Alright, I will see you next time. Bye.